Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back into the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Today, I am joined by two special guests, and I am so excited for this conversation because these women just bring the fire, and they are so much fun. We will be talking all about just owning who you are, your authenticity, and how that really draws people into your brand. So without further ado, I would love to welcome in Carissa and McKenna to the podcast today. Thank you, ladies, so much for being here. We're so excited to be here. (laughs) So Carissa, I'm going to have you go ahead and kick us off. Tell us more about yourself, who you are, what you do, and who you serve. My name is Carissa Higgins, and I profoundly freaking care about activating more boldness in the creative business woman here. Um, I love working with the rebel spirits, those out of the box thinkers, those like, you give me a plan, I'm going to do something else, right? Uh, those free spirits and really helping them show up online and create that unmistakable brand in a way that feels really freaking good to them so that they are consistent every single day sharing their message and impacting their world. I love it. And you're more the visionary of yeah. your brand. And we have McKenna, who's totally all things back end system strategies, <laughs> like the left brain of the business. So McKenna, tell us more about yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is McKenna Dodge. Um, and like like you said, you know, Carissa is very much the um wing it spirit and the, you know, fly by the seat of her pants. You know, she really specializes in that confidence and mindset. And so where I come in is really in the implementation. How do you take all of this amazing energy and excitement and confidence and bold badassery that Carissa brings? And you're like fired up and you're like, okay, now what do I actually do with that? Like, especially as entrepreneurs, you're like, okay, like what, what are my steps? And so where my strengths and skills come in is really in the implementation is in the strategy is in the, how do we take all of this passion that you have that Carissa and I have helped you to really uncover and like, let it bubble out of you. How do we put a harness on that thing and say, okay, let's go where we're going. Let's share this with the world. And honestly, the most beautiful and funniest, admittedly, analogy that we've ever had was a joke that a friend of ours made where he said that if McKenna and Carissa were just randomly like dropped off in the middle of a empty field in some remote location Carissa would be the one like frolicking through the fields and taking pictures of the flowers and dancing in the puddles and McKenna would be the one you know triangulating our location locating water and mapping out a uh, route to the nearest civilization and so it just makes this really cool dynamic between the two of us of the confidence and the mindset and the like getting into your passion with how do we take that passion and turn it into something that not only are you excited about, that you can monetize on as well and create a business with this on social media. Yeah. Oh, so good. And in a way that feels so good to you. Mm -hmm. And I love how you guys marry both of those worlds together within your business, because you really do need both in order to thrive as a business owner. You can have all the ideas in the world, but if you're not actually putting those strategies into place and implementing all of these fabulous ideas, you're just going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck at square one and not making any money, not making any progress and just being frustrated all of the time. So I love what you guys are doing. So when someone comes to you and they're like, oh my gosh, like I don't even know where to start. How do you start to unpack that and really like create a strategy that feels so good for them. It starts like, it's so simple, really, when we say this, but it's the hardest thing to do. We literally just start asking them questions about their story. Like that is, we are uncovering all of those things that have been holding them back, all of their desires, all of like, even their childhood fears, like 
their story of where they are and where they where they want to be and as they're speaking they don't even they're not even consciously thinking about what they're saying they're just telling their story right and McKenna over here is because she's a really fast typer uh, McKenna's over here like working her magic so as I'm asking these questions McKenna's recording their exact words. And this is the beautiful thing of what we do. We don't ask you to change who you are. We don't ask, we don't give you a bunch of information. We are simply pulling out the words that you're already saying and holding it back up to you and say, look what we just heard you say. Most of the time, I'm gonna say 99% of the time, we're like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that I said that or that could come out of me. I didn't even know that this was my like story that I've been holding back. Oh my gosh, this is the clarity I've been looking for. And all we did was walk them through their story. Yeah. And it's how beautiful. Right. Because how often are we constantly searching for this magical elixir, magical formula that, okay, if I just sign up for this, then I'll have what it takes. If I just do that, then I'll be able to do the thing. Well, no, like you said, it's just holding up a mirror because we have all of the information within us already, right? Well, and, and one of the things that Carissa says all the time is that you already have the magic inside of you. And so what Carissa and I are doing, it's it's not like the gurus where they're like, well, you need to talk about this or you should talk about that. Or here's, you know, the winning content strategy. The mm -hmm. winning content strategy is the one that you're most freaking excited about, is the one that you are the most passionate about. And that comes from where did you come from? What were you looking for when you found this solution, this opportunity, this offer, this network marketing company, when you decided to be a coach because you wanted to help people? Like... It comes back to what is the impact that you want to create in the space and why are you passionate about helping people with that transformation? And so what Carissa and I do to start out is uncovering, we call it your movement. What is the movement? Uh, some people might think of this as like the mission that you have in the space. What is the transformation that you are helping someone to achieve? And then our job is pulling out your story is pulling out the passion is pulling out your unique insights and perspectives and thoughts and the way that you teach and what makes you different. And we work together within our company, learn, earn impact and, and in our programs to hold up that mirror for these amazing women that we work with to be like, here's what you just said. Maybe pulling out some of the fluff, right? Here are the really potent things, the words, the phrases, the most emotionally charged, like passion filled mm. concepts that you just talk about. And we hold up that mirror and they're like, oh my God, that's exactly it. Like <laughs> all of this, you know, abstract tie dye swirl of ideas yeah. that they have in their brain. And we help them boil it down into something that's really cohesive. That's really clear that, that clarity which then brings confidence in this is who I am. This is what I do. This is who I serve. And this is how I'm going to serve the shit out of them. I yeah. apologize. I don't know if your, if your podcast is PG, but yeah. we're Okay. Um, we're good. We're good. All right. Cool, cool. We've all said these words before. We're moms. You know, we can <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> At least I have. So yeah. I freaking love it. So, so helping people to find that clarity and confidence in who you are and what you do and how you're here to serve. And then, you know, where a lot of people, especially entrepreneurs and women, especially get stuck is in this place of being super inspirational on social mm -hmm. media, like motivational cat poster, inspiring quotes with like cutesy pictures, but nobody's hiring them. Yeah. And so the next step for Carissa and I is like, okay, so we've uncovered what you're passionate about. How do you position yourself as that go-to leader in the space where you're not just inspiring your audience, where they're like, oh, good for Amy. She's so cool. I wish I could be like her. <laughs> to be like, damn, like mm. Amy can help me do the thing. I want to see what it looks like to work with her. And so taking it from you know, kind of coming into that like strategy, how do we take this passion that has bubbled out of you? And how do we take that and put that on social media in such a way that you can monetize on the thing that you're really freaking passionate about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You're getting out of the friend zone then. Getting yes. <laughs> yes. So many people get stuck in that darn friend zone, right? It's comfortable. 
It is, absolutely. And I think a lot of times we hold ourselves back and we don't say what we think. We don't say what makes us stand out because we're afraid of judgment. We're afraid of what other people are going to say. But once you check that ego, doesn't it make business so much easier? And fun. Yes. And fun. I mean, it, easier and fun because you aren't holding your, you, you aren't putting yourself in this box anymore. Like you have this freedom once again, and it actually becomes fun again. Now, business is always hard. Like we all, it's, it's hard, right? Yeah. But it's fun, hard. Like I choose it every single day because I get so, I'm so passionate about it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And you know, I wrote down something when you were speaking, McKenna, what makes you different? That's what makes you stand out. That's, That's what makes this all so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people, you know, especially when they're listening to, you know, the gurus in the network marketing industry or the gurus in the, you know, social selling industry or whatever, you know, they're talking about, you know, what time to post and what's the perfect type of content and what's the flashiest real transition and like all of this, like tactics, but it's, it's like that, sure, it's flashy, but ultimately like flashy might grab someone's attention, but it doesn't cause them to convert into actually wanting to pay you. Cool transitions, you know, the picture perfect marketing photos, like they might make people pause, like it says that it's aesthetically pleasing, but mm -hmm. what causes people to convert in your business is because they like you, they know you, they trust you, and they believe that you are the person to help them achieve this transformation. Like, it's all great if they like, like you and know you because, you know, you share your, your inspirational stuff on the internet and you're like the hoorah cheerleader, right? You're, you're, you know, engaging with everybody's content. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, this is such a cute picture. Oh, I hope you have fun on your trip, right? Like you're everybody's cheerleader. Congratulations. But are they hiring you? Yeah. They mm -hmm. hire you because you are speaking to your story. You're speaking to your beliefs and you're speaking to how you're going to change their life. What's yes. in it? I'm interrupting this episode to share an incredible networking opportunity that happens every single Monday at 1230 Eastern Standard Time. Join us for Coffee Talk and meet and collaborate with other mompreneurs just like you. Networking has grown my business by leaps and bounds, and I would love to share this opportunity with you. All the details can be found in our show notes. Now back to the show. Yeah. I always think like every time I post, I was like, how is this going to help them today? How is this going to help my person today? The per woman who I really want to work with, like, how am I going to get, get her a win today? Yeah. Like every time I post. And I love that perspective because once you shift that, that focus away from us into how can I serve them? Because I mm -hmm. have the solution that they're looking for, you yes. know, really seeking to serve. Mm -hmm. It makes it easy. And then you can try these different strategies and be, find what works for you. Because mm -hmm. if it's such a crazy content plan that you have set up for yourself, like you were saying with all the transitions and this and that, that's not sustainable. If that doesn't feel good to you, if that is exhausting, you're not going to keep up with it. Mm -hmm. No, nope. well, especially for, for your audience who are those busy moms like running around, you always got, you know, 18 things to do and only two minutes to do them. Like your content strategy needs to be easy and easy doesn't, it, it, excuse me, it needs to be simple. Simple doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be easy, right? Entrepreneurship and owning a business takes work, but how can you simplify it so mm -hmm. that it doesn't have to feel like a freaking chore to show up in your business among all the other things that you have going on in life as a mom, as a student, as an employee, as a, you know, whatever your various t collection of titles are that you have, it's like, how can you simplify your content and the way that you simplify it and make it authentic and make it fun and make it something that you're actually genuinely passionate about, which by extension makes it easier. It's so much easier to talk about something that you're passionate about. And not only that, but your audience can feel the energy. So like, you know, one of my businesses, we sell water ionizers, right? And everybody's like, that is the most unsexy thing you could ever possibly sell, right? If I show up and I'm like, 
the platinum dipped titanium plates, like people have already tuned out, right? I'm clearly not excited about it, even if the science is cool. Yeah. Whereas if I'm like, yo, I'm so excited about this, this business in this water and helping people not be drinking chlorine and fluoride in their water, helping their family, like you can feel the energy. And I know it's a podcast, right? You're looking at audio, but like you, even without being able to see my body language, you can see and feel and hear the difference. Mm -hmm. And so applying that to your content strategy, when you start with what is the movement you want to create? How are you passionate about what you're doing? Not only is it easier for you to create content, but it's honestly more enjoyable for your audience. And they're more likely to like actually stick around and consume the thing because that energy is transmitted through that content piece. I don't care if it's a reel. I don't care if it's a still photo. I don't care if it's a written blog or YouTube video, whatever. They can feel your energy. So not only is it easier for you, it's more likely to convert for them because they're like, dang, like she knows her stuff and she's excited about it. Like if I were out here, like the platinum dip titanium plates, people are like fucking buy. Like I right. am so not interested. Exactly. You know, I saw a perfect example of this over the weekend. My husband was flipping through the channels and he got distracted and left the room and QVC was on. The TV oh landed on QVC. I didn't even know that was still a thing. Oh, it's a but thing. it's the same thing. You know, these hosts are selling the most mundane things. I think they were selling bagels. You would have thought this guy like had God's gift to earth in these <laughs> bagels. And I mean, I even found myself like, I'm going to get these bagels. <laughs> like, oh, I need my these bagels. I should buy you're so right. Just how he was showing up and the enthusiasm and just like genuine, like just passion for what he was doing. It was like, oh yeah. my gosh, I need bagels. And it's like, no, I don't. No, I no, I don't need these bagels. But you thought about it. No, I did. I did think about it. Full disclosure. I thought about it, but yes. it really goes back to, yeah, our tone matters. How we're showing up matters. Yeah. And I think that's where we can start to embrace authenticity mm -hmm. as our superpower to really attract those people into us. Because mm -hmm. when we're being ourselves, we're showing up the same with clients as we are on social media. There's not this weird disconnect then. Yeah. Yeah. No. And once you find that, once you find, you'll know when you find it, but once you find it, it's like, then every strategy really starts to work. You're like, right. oh my gosh, this this hadn't worked for me for years. And now that I have this huge pivot in the energy and my excitement and where I actually want to go, then the strategies start to work for me. I was like, oh, that's funny, right? Because it's just, you weren't clear. You didn't have the clarity on really who you are and what you want and where you desire to go. That's it. Like it's so simple and yet the hardest thing to do in business. Yeah, yeah, and that's I think it. That that's the secret. And I think that's something that Carissa is really amazing at, and I'll let her share on in a second as well. You know, I'm I'm not a mom. I'm a I'm a dog mom. I've got three little fuzzy four-legged kind, but like I'm not out here like changing diapers or running kids to gymnastics or none of that, right? One of the things that Carissa is really amazing at that plays into this authenticity because we work in personal branding. We're not talking about running ads and funnels and like all of this complicated things. We're talking about real life people running a real life business within the constraints of real life. And like, we all yeah. know what that looks like for ourselves. And it may look different from, you know, one mom to one dog mom to another, like mm -hmm. that. One of the things that Carissa is so amazing at is weaving in, you know what, sometimes you're showing up to a call with baby barf on your shirt. Like sometimes you're, you know, like I got to reschedule a call because, you know, my freaking kid is apparently, you know, apparently we're on a barf train today. My kid's barfing at school. So like, I got to go pick them up. And you know what, like having the authenticity to share that and what that looks like in your life. And some people are like, oh, but you know, people won't try, like, I'm not the picture perfect, you know? And it's like, you know what? Sometimes messy mom bun is more relatable to your ideal clients than, you know, the gal with the, yeah, Carissa's over here pointing at her hair. Me right too. Now. <laughs> As we have our hair, like messy on the top of her head. Yeah. Right. So, so okay. being, being fully authentic and showing up in who you are and the way that you work your business around your life, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be picture perfect and it doesn't have to look a certain way. So part of that authenticity is not just what are you passionate about within your business? It's who are you and what does your life look like 
that you're sharing as, you know, how you work this business while also juggling the requirements of being a busy mom and, and in personal branding, I'm gonna let Carissa take over here for this, like being able to share, you know, not just your business, but that authenticity of who you are and how you show up and how you work your business as well. Yeah, I think that's so important. And like, I, I don't shy away from, I have two kids. Um, I definitely will do anything in my power, not ever to get burnt out. Cause I don't ever want to be burnt out. So I figured out a way that works best for me in my brand and my crazy life and all my to do's that I can still get excited and manage to show up for my business. And I show it every single day. Like if you follow me in my stories, like you see exactly what happens every day in my life. Like there's, I'm not, I'm not one of those people who hold back. Like you see it all. This is, this is my day. This is what I did. This is when I worked my business. This is when I was with my kids. Like it's just a perfect reflection of, of my brand and what I find valuable, what I hold valuable and you know, what, I, what I share here on this space and how I can help others do the same. So yeah. you have to be authentic in your life and who, how you, how you create this, right? Right. 100%. And regardless if you are a mom in the traditional sense or a fur mom or yeah. you know, any of these things, we all have our battles. We all have other things going on in the background. Maybe mm-hmm. you're the primary caregiver for a sick spouse or a parent or, you know, yeah. life is crazy. It is busy. So regardless, mm-hmm. if you're a mom, just showing up yeah. as you, it's hard at first. It's a little scary at first. But gosh, it feels so good. And I noticed that my engagement really picked up when Mm -hmm. I just started showing not just the wins, but like the behind the scenes and reality of it as well. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Today was a rough day. And guess what? Like, here's how I got out of it. Or, you know, you can use that as content too, because people don't always want to see Mm -hmm. the polished. I think we're really stepping into an era where we appreciate seeing that. And I love seeing that too. If I'm following someone and they're picture perfect all the time, like that's not real for me. Like I'm not that person and I don't relate to that. Like I relate to the mess. I relate to the chaos of it all. Like, you know what? We're all just trying to figure this out as we go. We're all doing the same dang thing. That's like some of the best advice right there. We are all doing and thinking the same thing. Like, just know that. Like, we have, I mean, there's similar thoughts going on all the time, but you're not alone. Like we're all doing it. Yes. We're questioning our moves. It's hard being a mom juggling, like just uh, it all. So I mean, life in general, I mean, it's life just crazy. The, the era that we are living in right now is just absolutely bananas. <laughs> I don't know if there's any Bonkers. other way to describe it. It's bananas. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, and I, I think there's, there's an element too of, when you give yourself permission to show up authentically and you give yourself permission to share the things that aren't picture perfect. Now I'm not saying you have to put your dirty underwear on the internet. Like there, you know, you, you can absolutely have those boundaries, Mm -hmm. but you know, it is more relatable to our clients and to our, you know, people in our audiences, our leads, our prospects, you know, people that we're working with or that are considering working with us it is so much more relatable for them to see Carissa in the middle of a Facebook live and her like daughter walks in and is like, fix my toy. Or can I have this for lunch? And Carissa's like, I give me a second guys. And she's like, got it like pause for a second and like, you know, address family life and then come back to it and then can't help but giggle about it. Like, this is how we run businesses in this era. Like, and, and by her giving herself permission. And for the, any of those of you who are listening, like in addition to how beneficial it is for you to give yourself permission to show up authentically and the weight that that lifts off of your own, sh- off of your own shoulders, mm-hmm. it also gives permission to those people who might be your best fit, hell yes, dream clients, but they don't think that they could do this too, because they're too busy because they don't look like you, because, you know, their kids are not as well behaved and never coming in. And you're like, actually, my kid was in here five minutes ago asking about goldfish crackers. And here we are. <laughs> like, it it gives your clients, especially, um, you know, our, our primary audience is working with a lot of um, network marketers, online coaches, you know, high ticket affiliates, you know, people leveraging social media content to sell. 
And it is so much more relatable for those who are building these home-based businesses to see the kids running around and like the dog running by in the background and the like, oh, yeah. oh shoot, hey, wait, hold on. My puppy's chewing on something. Like they're like, oh, well, if she could do this, I could do this too. If mm-hmm. she's in this program or doing this fitness program and she can't finish her sit-ups because her dog comes and sits on her face, like, you know what? <laughs> this yeah. is real life, right? Yeah. So being able to share not only gives you the confidence, but it gives your best fit clients to own who they are and believe that they could do it too. Mm, I love that. Oh my gosh. Exactly. Mic drop moment. Because yeah, Mm -hmm. you're giving them permission too. You're not just giving yourself permission. You're giving everyone who's watching you permission. And yeah, it just comes down to being you. That's what draws your people in. It is really that simple. Mm-hmm. Ladies, this conversation was absolutely incredible. I could talk to you guys all day long. <laughs> so good. But I want to know more. How can we get into your world and learn more about what you ladies are doing? Mm. McKenna, why don't you go ahead and tell us? Yeah, absolutely. So we primarily do our growing on Facebook. That's where the majority of of our audience is hanging out. So if you search it, uh, learn, earn, impact, learn, earn, impact in the search bar within Facebook, ours will probably be the very first group that pops up here. You can join our Facebook community where we have tons of trainings on brand positioning and content and strategy. And, you know, Carissa's in there with the confidence and mindset, and I'm in there with like the game plan and the, you know, strategic stuff. So Um, that Facebook community is honestly the best place to connect with us and get like all of our free shit, to be completely honest with you. Um, at this point, the group is uh, Learn, Earn, Impact. It's like strategic brand positioning for rising coaches or something to that effect. So join that community when you come in there. Of course, you know, you're going to have Carissa or I reaching out saying, hey, and seeing how we can best serve you in your entrepreneurial journey, we'll set you up with some different trainings or resources or, you know, content templates or whatever it is that you're looking for. So we highly recommend that. Or if you're interested in working with us on a deeper level, you can visit our website, of course, at learnerandimpact.com. And that'll take you over to the page that talks about like our paid coaching programs and things like that. And really, we're just, we're excited to show up and to serve you in this journey and whatever that looks like in brand positioning and content strategy. Oh, so good. Carissa, any final words, tips, words of encouragement? Mm, go out and just be your badass self today. That's what I tell everyone. Like, just let all of the expectations go and just be like, what do I want to say today? Don't hold back and say it, right? Because I always say, when you can master your most truest self, your most truest being, you will always yield the most potent and best results. So go be a badass. I (laughs) love it. You (laughs) ladies are phenomenal. There are so many just mic drop moments, just juicy nuggets of wisdom. Take what you've learned in this episode and start implementing it. Just start showing up as you borrow the belief from us. We are giving you the permission to show up. Show yeah. up so you can give those that are watching you the permission to succeed as well. Mm-hmm. All right, mamas, until next time, stop dreaming and start taking messy action. You've got this. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 